Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I know it's a long time, like I'm making this video after a long time and well, it's still continuation with the previous videos that I uploaded, specifically with the MyTax uh, playlist. And this video is about what, what's next? If you got your acceptance letter, how do you go ahead with the visa? How do you go ahead booking your flights? How to set things up before you go to Canada? So I have Asim with me. Hi, Asim. Um, would you like Hello. to quickly introduce yourself with, with where will you be going? Where do you come from and where will you be doing your MyTax internship? Definitely. So thank you for having me on your channel. Myself, Asim Sangale. I'm currently pursuing my undergraduation from Delhi Technological University. I'm in the third year of my software engineering. And uh, I, I will be going to Concordia University, Montreal for my MyTax internship. All right. Um, and how was the timeline for you? Like, when did you uh, start applying? Um, will application deadlines were the same for all? But when did you receive your acceptance? Was it in round one or round two? Yeah. Sure. So uh, the application, as we all know, started in August, August and September phase. So I received my uh, results in the round one. There were uh, quite several rounds of interviews, like one or two interviews. Uh, I received in the round one. And it was, I think, December, around 10 or 12th of December. So that was the result date for me. OK. And uh, when did you get your official acceptance letter from my tax, confirming that the internship will uh, be offline? Right. So official acceptance letter from my tax uh, was, I think it was released on the end of March, around 18th or something March. But we got a confirmation uh, as soon as the logistics portion portal was open. There was a field that uh, the mode of internship. So for quite some people, it was virtual. But for most of the people, it was in person. So that is how we got uh, to know that our internships will be there in Canada. All right. Uh, so you got it in late uh, March. When did you start applying for the visa? So as soon as I had the award letter in my hand, I the very next day I applied it. Uh, I mean, late February, I would like to correct myself. We had the award letter with us in late February and I applied for visa on 1st of March. I remember that. And uh, yeah. So what's the procedure like? Like what's since this video is much more about visa and the things beyond that. So what was the first step for uh, booking your visa? Right. So the first and very basic step is that you need to have a valid passport with more than six mm -hmm. months of validity. So that is fine. That is a check mark. And then for Canadian visa, what the process is like is that usually you go to a GC key website and make your account and then go or the traditional IRCC website. But these days, I think due to the COVID workload or whatever, there is like a different portal, the IRCC new portal that is only for visitor visas and temporary visas. So most of the MyTax interns went to that portal and we applied through that portal. So the basic documents that we needed were our award letter and second is our national identity document or our proof of travel. So for the proof of travel and national identity document, we had a passport and there were two external documents. Uh, one was your role of research and the second was employer contract. So we uploaded our award letter in both of them. Now the process is how to know what kind of visa to apply. So we had to apply a visitor visa because MyTax mentions that we don't need a working a work permit to work for the MyTax as we fall under the GSS category. That's the global skill strategy. OK, so uh, you applied for a visitor visa uh, and that was with a work permit exemption. Uh, is that correct? Right. So we have a visitor visa and we do not require a work permit to work under MyTax. What we do need is a visitor record. Uh, I think this I am something, uh, I don't remember the form number to be precise, but once we enter Canada, we have to request, uh, request that at the port of entry as a document of our identification in Canada. And that will also help us further in uh, processes like banking, etc. Because we also need to open a bank account when we get over there to get the funds from my tax. Right. So once you uh, create that link, open that form and submit that form. First of all, what was the registration fee? Do you have to pay with that, with that form or is it sometime later? Yeah, so the registration fee varies from country to country. So we are in India, so registration fee with biometrics, like we have to go and give our biometrics to the VFS centers. 
so it was mm-hmm. around 185 canadian dollars so we had to pay 185 canadian dollars okay so what's this biometric thing about yeah so the thing is uh, before you apply for your visa and after you begin the process like after you have made your payments you need to go to a vfs the uh, vfs center the visa application center and there you need to give your fingerprints and your photos so these biometrics are required uh, by the canadian embassy and they stay valid for 10 years like i gave mine in 2022 so till 2032 i have a uh, valid biometrics like I can go to Canada with these biometrics. After that, if I want to go, I need to renew my biometrics. So okay. So problem. once you submit your visa application, uh, I think you get a, a instruction letter for biometrics, which you need to uh, use right, to right, get right. an appointment with VFS. Right. Biometrics and uh, information letter. Okay. And uh, so, do you have to pay anything extra to the VFS, or is it like as you said, the visa fee had biometric fee covered? So. Was there anything extra? Or- so we did not have to pay anything extra for the uh, biometrics, but since uh, the courier, the stamping, passport stamping after your visa has been approved is handled by the VFS, they ask you sometimes if you want to go for the premium service of VFS. So they provide some things such as the they provide you a SIM card when you'll go in Canada. They will uh, promise uh, a faster delivery time not the visa processing time that is independent of uh, vfs and is dependent on ircc the canadian embassy just the time to pick up the passport from your home and deliver it back to your home so these kinds of things they offer and like sms updates and like a discount on the delivery charges so that is the premium service that they offer and i think that is for around three to four k so one can uh, voluntarily en- enroll in that if they want to but apart from that no nothing else is uh, demanded by the vfs and you don't need to pay anything okay so let's let's go back a little and discuss the visa timeline so you applied say in february you submitted your application on first of march is it first of march right okay so then then you uh, applied for the vfs biometric when did you receive the uh, what date uh, did you receive the appointment for so actually uh, i received it right after 5 hours of my applying like i my application was completed on i think 5 pm and i received it at 9 pm that uh, my biometrics information letter and as soon as i received it i filed uh, my biometrics uh, the requested the date of my biometrics and got a date of 4th march so my okay. biometrics and were completed on 4th march delhi. delhi right the vfs delhi the shivaji stadium center and okay. it's a fairly very easy process you just need to go like 10 15 minutes before your appointment no use of going very early and uh, you go they give you a token you sit inside they take your fingerprints of both hands like uh, the thumb impression fingerprints they take your photos and then you leave and they give you a receipt of it and they make you sign it. so it's a fairly easy process but uh, because of covid timeline after that was the uncertain part involved because there then there was a lot of waiting involved so when did you get your passport request um, after after biometrics yeah so my passport request came on 9th of april i received it on 9th of april so approximately one month uh, yeah kind of one, one month and yes is that like uh, averagely same for everyone uh, all the other people who applied uh, for people from india yes uh, everyone started receiving on 9th so we have a discord channel so we got to know that yes every people are receiving their passport request letters now so we started to receive it in 9th evening and i also received it at the same time so yes for indians it was about that time some people from some countries also received it earlier and some still haven't received theirs okay and so did you uh, get your passport back with the visa yeah yeah i got my passport back and it's valid for 10 years uh, yes, it, so they give you a visitor visa. A visitor visa is valid for 10 years or until your passport expires, the maximum of that. So like my passport okay. expires in 28, so my visa is valid till 28. All right, sounds good. So uh, that's I think that's much more about visa that we have covered almost everything. Uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is flights. So did you book your flights? Yeah, I booked my flights. And uh, w- what was the cost, and how which airline did you uh, choose? So the cost was uh, luckily I got it under the MyTax allocated budget. So MyTax allocates like fifteen hundred uh, Canadian dollars, and mine was I think around fourteen eighty dollars. So uh, that is uh, the cost. But 
it was i got it for a like reasonable price because my internship starts in june so i'll be mm-hmm. going in june and i booked it back in uh, february uh, back in march so okay. around 10 15 days after applying my visa i booked my tickets and i booked it through air france okay i'll be flying with air france all right um all right so that's about flights that's about visa what about your accommodation and setting things up um are you connected with like my tax al- allo- allocate some kind of uh, their representatives uh, in the city so are you allocated with any uh, anyone and are they helping you with the accommodation and stuff right so i have recently been matched with the my tax mentor so i will i have not yet been contacted by them or contacted them so i will try and contact them but as of now my accommodation is not sorted i need to mm-hmm. figure that stuff out so for that i am thinking of uh pinging my uh, fellow interns from concordia university and uh, trying to reach out to them uh, that will be the best case otherwise there are many other resources provided by my tax one can also opt in for on campus housing my university has on campus housing it is uh, considered to be on the slightly expensive side as compared to off campus housing but that is uh, one option there otherwise I, uh, one can always go to facebook marketplace or kgg.com and search for mm-hmm. accommodations over there so that's okay. about that sounds good anything else that you want to add to all or to, to this video maybe some questions that people usually have or some tips for the visa process uh the tips as of now for the covid times is that just apply as soon as you can as soon as you have your award letter in your hand you should apply it because the average processing time for indians on the canadian website is like around 112 days i think when i last checked it so provided the fact that um, like i still know some people who have their interns starting uh, right on april 29th and they still don't have their stamp passports back because i have my stamp passport back but that does not mean many people for example i know that people who send their passports to vfs bangalore uh, are mm-hmm. facing a little bit of delay so it just gives you like a uh, uncertainty and anxiety for like you know free of course so you sh- if you don't want to go through that you should apply for visa as soon as it's possible apart from that nothing else apart from that the process is really smooth because of my tax all right sound good so everyone that's about visa that's about flights and going to canada for internship under the mytex global link research internship program thank you asim for uh, giving this time to us for this video and um i hope you come back uh, for the next video maybe in future telling the experience that you had with your internship for our viewers so that they can know more about my tech internship and apply in future definitely thank you so much for having me and thanks to you that i got this my tech internship <laughs> and nothing like that thank you so much for being here all right then bye thank you bye bye thank you